episode two, the open book. Starbucks here. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, I want to talk about something. First of all, apparently, this I don't understand. Apparently, people nowadays are saying that rap music is only for one group of people. Let me tell you something. First of all, music in general, no matter what genre it is, it should be for everybody, no matter who they are. Because apparently, basically, music in general is about expressing yourself and telling a story about your struggles and what you've been through and everything else. That's what it's about. And the fact that people are always throwing this whole rap music is only for this group of people or not this group of people or whatever the case may be. It it should not be like that. And, that, and to be honest, first of all, in my opinion, what I think is music should be for everybody no matter who they are and this whole thing going around oh vulture culture vulture thing or whatever i don't get that thing first of all music in general like i said before is for everybody no matter who they are and no matter what genre it is music should be expressing yourself and what you went through and what you struggled in your life and and telling a story and telling your story and and being an inspiration for other people that listen to your music. That's what it's all about. This whole culture vulture thing, it's it's nonsense. And I don't support people that say stuff like that. And people will say, oh, you will say that because, you know, your skin color is white. Uh, first of all, let me tell you something. I grew up with music in general, no matter what genre it is. There was a time when I was very young way before eight or nine years old, I used to listen to basically country music all the time because my family was big on country music. But my uh, my cousin, they know who they know who they are when they listen to this podcast that they end up they end up having me listen to different type of music such as rap music, R and B music, pop music or whatever you want to call it. And ever since then, I was hooked. And I've been listening to that type of music ever since. And I grew up struggling. I used to bounce from one place to another. I was homeless one time, but not fully homeless, but some somewhat homeless to the point where my mom and me had to walk a long distance from one place to from in Baltimore, Maryland, to another place in Baltimore, Maryland, to go... And see if me and her can live with a friend of hers that she knew. Because me and her didn't have a place to stay. You know, I used to struggle with trying to, you know, of of me wondering if I'm going to, what I'm going to eat, where I'm going to sleep at, or whatever. I experienced that, okay? I experienced that. I know what it's like. I've seen people you know, homeless out there, you know, like, sleeping on, sleeping on the ground, struggling, sleeping, trying their best to keep themselves warm because it's so cold outside, but they don't have anything to use to keep them warm. I see them sleeping on benches out there, you know, in, in, in the park or wherever you see a bench at that was in Baltimore, Maryland, you know, the place I was born at. I was born in Baltimore, Maryland, but I also lived in Alton, Maryland. And both places are basically both my homes because some part of my life I was raised in Baltimore, but I was also raised in Alton, Maryland too. But I also experienced bouncing from one place to another. And, you know, stuff like that. And I had songs such as rap music, uh, hip-hop music, pop music, country music, rock music, you name it. I listened to that to to motivate me to keep on going. Even though I was young, it just kept me wanting to keep on going and keep on doing what I had to do as me being a young girl that I was by trying to survive in the world that I was living in and, and witnessing all this the stuff that I was witnessing when I saw these people that were homeless and struggling and trying to survive 
and everything else right along. And it was heartbreaking to see that. It was very heartbreaking to see that. And I would see people, you know, get treated wrong for no reason. I've seen it. And I myself have experienced stuff like that, too, within certain people that I know that I used that, that I loved and cared about. And the thing of it is, is I need this whole thing about this whole, you know, culture vulture thing, this whole thing or whatever the case may be, it, it's nonsense. I don't I don't agree with that stuff. I don't agree with people saying stuff like that because you know what? Reality is music in general, no matter what genre it is, it's for everyone, no matter who you are. No matter who you are, doesn't matter what type of skin color you have. And I'm tired of people always saying that, oh, well, rap music is for this group of people only, not that group of people. I'm tired of the whole label and and having these people boxing music in general for certain people to only listen to when music in general is not about that. It's not about that, and people need to realize that, and people may attack me for saying this. I don't care. I don't care. I'm telling the truth. There are people out there, there are people out there, not just people that basically have the same skin color as me, which is white. There are people out there that struggle, just like me, and just like everybody else. Everybody out there is struggling with something. They're struggling because they either... They have to, they're struggling with their depression and anxiety, they're struggling with trying to find out who they are, and trying to find out what type of person they want to be, and they're struggling to survive with living, because right now they're basically homeless, and they don't have a place to stay, and they're like, trying their best to do everything they can in their power to do something, but sometimes when they go to certain places to get that type of help they get rejected every time they get rejected like this one time me and my me and my fiance we went to a place somewhere i think it was either tennessee tennessee or either tennessee alabama i can't remember exactly where at it was somewhere around the area down there we went to this town and i looked up this place it was um a place that will help people that are in need that were in my situation, me and my fiance situation, where we were living in our vehicle, trying to survive, to do what we needed to do because we didn't have no place to go, we had no place to live, and we and I went to this place in person to talk to this person if they could help me and my fiance out. Oh, apparently the woman said that I had to be registered, like I had to have proof stating that I lived in that town in order for them to help me. But yet they helped somebody that was living in their vehicle that was living in that town apparently, but they helped them out, but they were living in their t- and they were living. The person that they helped, that person was living in their vehicle in that town, but I don't know, they might have had proof that they, back, that they, um, that they lived there, that they lived in that town, stated that's where they live at, but right now, at the moment, they were homeless, living in their vehicle, but the thing about this, you know, the fact that places like that, or like that with people that, that need help, that are struggling or whatever, and they're living in a vehicle, or living in, in, not even living in a vehicle, but just playing out homeless in general, it's it's upsetting that people like that end up getting rejected like that because they don't have proof stating that they live in that town on their ID or whatever in order for these people to help them out. I think that is wrong, and I think something like that should be taken care of, and I think people in general needs to put a stop to pe- put a stop to businesses that are like that that claim that they help people that are in need but yet they reject people when they're down on their luck and they're living in their vehicle and they reject them because apparently they don't have proof on their ID or whatever state that they live in that town that they have to be an individual living in that town in order for these people to help them that's wrong and I think 
stuff like that should be put to an end. And I think something needs to be done about that in general. You know, and the fact that people nowadays are always going to label everything, you know, it's, it's messed up. And I said it, you know, I even mentioned a little bit about it, you know, you know on my first episode. But I'm just saying, I, I just don't like it. I don't like how everything is so labeled and everybody is so focusing on the negative and whatnot and, and, and so focusing on our differences instead of trying to come together as human beings to try to make a change and make things for the better. And you know, and there's people out there saying, oh, well, you know, when people sit there and bring that, that statement that I just mentioned, that we all need to come together, and people come out with this question, and they're like, oh, what do we need to come together on? Well, first of all, we need to come together by trying to take back what, trying to take back what things, you know, I'm just saying in general that we need to fight for what needs to be done, meaning we need to fight back on the whole situation, deal with these prices that we got going on with gas and gas prices and housing prices and grocery prices and and anything in general that has been going up through the roof ever since, I'm going to be honest, ever since Joe Biden took over president. And it is basically, it's, it's facts, it's true. And, you know, if if you if you want to sit there and claim, oh, it's not true and it's not facts, then something's wrong with you. You you basically have some type of brain that's not even working at all, and your your brain is like pretty much not all there, all together. <laughs> I'm just saying. Like things need to change for the better, and you know everybody's always sitting here fighting with one another because. They want to point out the obvious because our skin color is different from another person. Let me tell you something. Skin color has nothing to do with anything. And I don't know why people are so bent on focusing on stuff like that. First of all, we all have two legs. Some don't have two legs because of maybe something happened to them in a car accident and they lost one of their legs or they was born that way. But I'm saying in general... People who have legs, that has two legs, we all have two legs in general. We all bleed blood. When we cut ourselves, we're bleeding blood. We have hands. We have fingers. Some don't. Some do. But it doesn't matter what skin color you have. Why is it so important nowadays? Everybody is so focusing on skin color this, skin color that. You know, like... What, what, why is this so important? Why is this so important? You know, and then people always want to sit there and uh, direct somebody, say, oh, this person, they, they always direct, they always say, say the lines of, oh, I can't believe that person, white person, or that black person, or whatever, or that person that has, the skin color of it has a tan color skin or whatever, how you want to say it in general. They always got to announce someone's skin color when they're sitting there talking to somebody about somebody. Like, okay, uh, first of all, we see, we have eyes. You don't have to mention that, you know, this person is, is uh, this skin color and that person is that skin color. Why is it how, why is everybody gotta point that out when we can see with our own eyes? Like we're not blind and we know what type of skin color they have. Why 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 you gotta point that out? Can't you say, oh can't you derive can't you say, Oh, well this person, I don't know who they are, but I think they said that their name is just such a that their name is this or their name is that. And she has this certain color hair or this certain type of clothes she was wearing or whatever the case may be. Why is everything always going to be about skin color this and skin color that? It's nonsense. It's irrelevant. You know? You 
Here's another thing. When people sit there, when they're in a fight with somebody, or they're about to get in a fight with somebody, there's some people out there that, that will stand around and video, you know, video camera it, like record it, right? Of one person, right? In a fight with a whole bunch of group of people. Why why is it when somebody is in a fight with somebody, they always gotta have backup with them to fight along with them? Why can't it be one on one? Why can't it be one versus one? And then to top it off when I can understand if it's one versus one and they're fighting, cool. I'm down and respect that shit. But if you have it yourself and a whole group of people fighting that one person just beating the hell out of them that's going to cause them to end up in the hospital. I don't I don't mess with that and I don't respect that at all. I think it's wrong and it's messed up. And the fact that that things like that do happen and I see videos of of, of stuff happening like that and the fact that people that record it don't do nothing and then you have people around watching it and not doing nothing about it. That's like, what the hell is going on in our world? Why has it come to this? Why has it come to the point where, you know, nobody wants to step in and, and say, look, if you two are going to fight with one another, then you need to do it one-on-one, not have this person fight you and, and the rest of your people run along with you to gang up on this one person. That's not right. It, that's, that's, that's not right at all. That just shows that you're 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 weak you're a weak person if you do some stuff like that by allowing yourself and other people that rock with you gang up on one person when you don't know how to fight your own battles one on one. I don't respect people that do that and I don't respect people that sit there and watch the whole thing go down and they don't do nothing about it. <laughs> right along with the person that's recording the video of themselves. I don't respect someone doing that either. Like, that's just messed up. Here's another thing. I was going through one of my, uh, my timeline. It was either on X slash Twitter or Facebook, one or the other. I can't remember what it was. But somebody stated how when a woman cheats, she does it to prove something or whatever the case may be. But when a, when a guy cheats on, on somebody, they do it on accident. First of all, how how can you sit there and say something like that? Cheating in general, no matter who's doing it, no matter if it's a woman or a male in general, no matter who's doing it, it's wrong. Point blank. So how are you gonna sit there and say, Oh, when a woman does that, oh she's doing it to prove to prove something or some something down the line of that. But apparently when a guy does it, oh, it's by accident. No, come on, man. Like <laughs> Really? Who? Wow! If somebody if somebody has a brain set that actually thinks like that, then oh my goodness, Whew, man! I hope and pray that Heavenly Father wakes them up one day and and have them thinking a whole different mindset because the mindset that they got going on now, it's not going to go good for them at all in their life. It's not. I'm just, I'm just pointing the obvious. <laughs> so, this month, November, is Thanksgiving. It is Thanksgiving month. <laughs> you know what's, you know what's crazy? Is how everyone is so outrageous that, you know, they're so, you know, they're outrageous because everybody is so, like, for an example, everybody is so against the whole Christmas music thing, you know, because they're like, oh, why y'all are forgetting about about Thanksgiving? Why are you, you know, skipping Thanksgiving, going straight to Christmas or whatever? Let me tell you something. If there was, if there was songs, right, that was involving Thanksgiving in general, I'm sure a lot of people will be blasting Thanksgiving music like crazy. Just 
celebrate Thanksgiving this month. But the fact of the matter is, is there is no kind of off the chart music that involves that involves Thanksgiving that's not even basically being known or being you know being irrelevant enough where everybody knows about it if you get my drift you know it's when you go even when I was young way before eight or nine years old when I go to an event you know like a Thanksgiving dinner event with family members or whoever when when I'm there the only thing I hear that they play when it comes to music while we're having Thanksgiving is Christmas music. Christmas music is what they are playing while we are having Thanksgiving food. Christmas music. This has always been like that. And I don't know why people are so bent up over it. Like, what is so wrong? Why are you going to be a downer against Christmas music? What is so wrong about it? That's what I don't get. Usually, every time I listen to music, dealing with Christmas music in general, it always lifts me up. It always brings me into a Christmas spirit mood. Even, it puts me in a mood of the holidays between Thanksgiving and Christmas, all wrapped up in one. It always puts me in the mood. It makes me feel so, it makes me feel the holiday spirit. And I always rock with Christmas music that, that talks about he- Heavenly Father, that that, pr- that, pr- that pretty much praises and worships Heavenly Father because if it wasn't for Him, none of us that are living in this world, we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for Him. And I always mess with music in general that, you know, Christmas music in general or whatever you want to call it, Christmas music. I always mess with Christmas music when it involves Heavenly Father in general. It doesn't mean that I want to hurry up and fast forward and skip Thanksgiving, go straight to Christmas or whatever. No. A lot of people that I know of and I've seen and witnessed this is when people are having Thanksgiving dinner with their family and friends, the only thing I hear them playing when it comes to the music that they play when they're sitting there gathering their food and and eating it or whatever when it comes to Thanksgiving is Christmas music. I'm telling you, Christmas music tops. That's the only thing I hear when it comes to the music they play when it comes to them eating Thanksgiving food is Christmas music. I mean, usually when people are so, you know, uh, When they're so against this whole thing, dealing with this whole scenario of Christmas music being played or whatever, knowing that it's November and it's Thanksgiving, it's crazy, though. It's like it triggers them so bad that they sit there and say unnecessary negative things about about it when they could use that energy and time when they wrote that comment or said that statement out of their mouth, they could use that energy and turn it into something positive and do something with that by doing something positive with it. But they use that energy on something negative to bash something that they apparently are in their feelings and triggered by because, you know, they don't, it's not their cup of tea, basically. Like, it's messed up, and it's truly upsetting and sad that people are like that, that they won't be so down like that towards stuff like that. I mean, if you don't like Christmas music or whatever, that, that's your, that, that is your business. That's your choice. You don't like it, that's your choice. You know, but I just think people in general, when they don't like something and, and they... They can't stand something. They have to have the need to hurry up and jump online or whatever. Say something negative and bad about it. Sit there and just. Sit there and spread their negativity. 
want to comment that they want to leave upon something that they don't like. And I don't think stuff like that is, is, is worthless. It's, it's, it's irrelevant. It's unnecessary. It's like, it's pointless. I mean, what are you gaining from that? What are you gaining from that to, to do, to, to, to say stuff like that in a comment? When you can use that energy on something positive. Or turn that energy into something you could do positive by trying to do something to change something in your life to make it better. If you get my drift. And it's 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 messed up and it's crazy how things are nowadays and, and people are so focusing on negative things and, and pointing out the differences between us and pointing out, oh, well, you don't like that artist, I don't mess with you because you don't like that artist, or, you know, et cetera, et cetera, the whole labeling and labeling and labeling thing that's been going on, you know, nowadays, it's like, so tiring, it's so, it just, it sucks the life right out of you. To even see and witnessing that, and then know stuff like that is going on, and then you got this whole thing with this whole, you know, politics, politics, politics thing between the whole Joe Biden and Trump. First of all, I'm not a Republican and I'm not Democrat. I don't mess with either parties. I'm not down with the whole politic things. I'm not. I'm not. I don't mess with that. You know. Right now, as far as I know, when I'm just saying the obvious, and I'm not sitting here saying I support Trump, and I'm not sitting here saying, you know, sitting here. Sp- Joe Biden because I don't I'm not, I don't mess with Joe Biden like that and I don't mess with Trump like that but I'll tell you one thing and I'll tell you one thing only when Trump and I'm gonna be honest because it's the truth and if you sit there and and say oh that's that's false that's not true then something's wrong with you apparently your eyes are closed and you're sleeping and you're not awake to realize what I'm about to say is true because it is when Trump was in the office gas prices was not high as it is now. Grocery prices was not high as it is now. Uh, housing prices were not high as they are now. Especially when it comes to the trailers and the uh, apartments and stuff. You know, it wasn't the way it was now. Like they were. It wasn't the. All I'm saying is when Trump was in the office, things were getting things were getting good. Prices on gas, groceries, housing, trailers, and apartments were affordable. It wasn't expensive and high as it is now. Nowadays, gas is as crazy as hell. Like, it's high and it's crazy. Right along with groceries, right along with the housing, trailers, and apartments. You name it. Everything is going up. Then what these prices on gas groceries, housing, trailers, and apartments, you name it. Now, all of a sudden, now that Joe Biden is in the office, everything is so screwed up, messed up, got my brain to where I want it, where it just feels like it just wants to explode because of so much is going on that it it just makes me feel like I'm that, that girl in the Exorcist movie with her head doing a 360, going down the steps, looking like she's a crab, going down the steps with her, I mean, if you watch the Exorcist movie, then you'll know what the hell I'm talking about, when that chick went down the steps with her head all turned, and she was doing some kind of freaky, freaky, scary stuff, or whatever you want to call it, that's what, that's how it's making me feel, like, like, I feel as my body wants to do that because of how things are nowadays ever since Joe Biden became president i'm just i'm just stating the obvious 
I'm not sitting here bashing him, and I'm not sitting here, like, I'll admit, you know, the president, which is Joe Biden, he can't, apparently, he's, he's struggling, he is struggling to talk, apparently he is struggling to walk from one place to another, which is true, like, you can see half of that stuff on video that people be posting and stuff, and, and you can see it literally happening, I mean, really? Now, I think all I know is I'm pointing the obvious that when Trump was in office, things were a little bit better on us, that we could afford things and whatnot, and we could be able to do what we had to do to keep food on the table for our family, to keep a roof over our house and all this other stuff and, and housing in certain places and whatnot or, or Place in general, no matter what it is, even gas, even gas for your vehicle and groceries, housing, trailers, and apartments were basically affordable for you to get. Now everything, everything dealt with prices are high now, and we got people out here struggling like, like there's no tomorrow. It's crazy. Everything is so messed up. Everything is so messed up, man. I, I, it's, it's, it's messed up. And if people can't see, you know, the state that we are in and, and come, to a, come to a realization that ever since Trump became president, everything has been messed up. Altogether, it's been messed up. When Trump was in office, things were getting good, and things were getting a little bit better in a way. But ever since Joe Biden came and he started and he became our president, things has been going messed up. Everything has been wrong. Everything has been totally effed up altogether. You know, there's things out here. You know, we need to be out here protesting to get our 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 gas prices back to the way it was, our grocery prices back to the way it was, or the prices on housing and trailers and apartments back to the way it was. We need to be out there protesting about that. Not only that, but protesting on the whole scenario of the whole human trafficking and the children trafficking and people out there in a certain world that are having slaves but they're doing it they're doing it on the down low and they're trying to keep it on the down low and there's people out there probably basically people out there that's still going through the slave scenario but it's not being known because they're keeping it on the DL you know there should be protesting about stuff like that you know, and a lot of people are so, they're so focusing on, they're so focusing on this whole, okay, I get it. I get, understand the whole situation to what the Black Lives Matter, the Black Lives Matter scenario is supposed to be about POC, people of color, being treated wrong. And, and, uh, you know, when when a cop pulls a certain individual over, and that individual is a person of color behind a wheel, automatically that, that cop assumes the worst. They start wanting to pull their guns out or whatever the case be, and start going crazy on the person, and start treating them like trash or whatever. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't like stuff like that that's going on in the world for for people of color for anyone in general even people of color I don't think they should be going through something like that I think we all should be treated equally in general like all of a sudden when you hear oh some dude in the store robbed a person and all this other stuff and the first thing someone would automatically assume oh apparently it's a person 
of color that did it. Oh, he did it. Yeah, he's the one that did it. And then you turn around and find out through the news, and they show a picture that was basically a person that had white skin that did it. That is basically right there. That that part is what's wrong in our world. That's that's the part where we have a problem. If someone in general listening to the radio, right, while they're driving, and they hear on the news, on the radio, saying, oh, yeah, there was this dude or this female, they all went to a store and they robbed the place and they did this and they did that, and automatically the person that's driving, listening to this news, listening to the news upon this radio in their vehicle, and they automatically assume that it's apparently it's supposed to be a person of color that did it. That right there, that mindset that that person has is what's what's wrong in this world. And that is the problem that we got going on in this world. Because no matter what, it could be anybody, no matter what skin color they are, it could be anyone that basically went to that store and robbed a store or hold somebody at gunpoint. And the fact when you get home and when you come to a realization and find out that that person was basically a person that was that had white skin automatically. Oh my God, I can't believe it. Oh my God, I thought it was this. I thought it was this person. I thought it was a person of color that did it. That is what it's pro- That is the problem that's going on in this world. Don't automatically assume that it's a certain group of person that did that, that robbed the store to hold somebody at gunpoint, or whatever the case may be, that is what's wrong in this world, and that is what needs to be taken care of, people need to get their mind set straight, and start realizing when they hear something on the radio like that, don't automatically assume that it's, oh, it's by a person of color that did it. Or whatever the case may be, because really, you don't. That's that's accusations. That means that you got something wrong with your head to automatically assume that it's somebody that is a person of color that did it. When it could easily, automatically, actually be someone that is white that did it. I mean, come on now. Like, it could be anybody, no matter what type of skin color they are. That's what I'm getting at. So if you have a mindset and you're on, if you're in the and you're driving in your vehicle, and you got the mindset when you're driving in your vehicle, and you hear, and you hear the and you hear the news on your radio stating that some dude or some female rob a store and hold somebody at gunpoint, and your first thought was, oh my God, I can't believe it. It's one of them. It's one of those people. That are basically, you know, has the skin color, they have a, their their skin color is black or whatever the case may be. And they sit there and say shit like that. The the fact that somebody will automatically assume that in their head by making that accusation, assuming that it was, it was from somebody that had the skin color of a black person. That right there is what is the problem in this world and the problem that we got going on and it needs to be fixed and people with that mindset needs to needs to get their mindset in order and get it straightened out because that's not right that's not right it could be anybody and no matter what skin color they have it could be anybody that went into that store and robbed somebody and hold them at gunpoint in general that's what I'm getting at. And the fact, and you know, I'm tired. I am tired. This is what I am tired. And I am so fed up with, I'm so effing fed up with this crap. Is there will be certain videos of people that that are white, that, are, that has the same skin color, same skin color as me. When they're out there doing their thing, either going to, like, going shopping or at the gas station or whatever the hell they're doing. 
and they come across somebody, somebody else. It could be somebody with the same color as them, or it could be somebody that doesn't have the same, same skin color as them, and they'll sit there and start throwing baby tantrum. I mean, literally, baby tantrum, because things are not going the way they want it to. You know, sitting there, like, once you can fucking, like, you have videos, right, of people, anybody. It could be a mother and their child, or a mother, or, or their, the person they're involved with, like a boyfriend, girlfriend, or a fiancé, or a husband or a wife, no matter who they are, and, and they, they're walking through it park or a certain type of park or whatever and then you got this person this person that is white will sit there and say you need to leave you need to get out of here you know you're walking on private property this ain't your place to walk here blah 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 this and that and just sitting there running their mouth and say I'm gonna call the police on you you know you're not allowed to walk here who you think you are I want to call the police on you and get you locked up because what you're doing is wrong. It's illegal and all this other stuff. You know, I can't stand people like that. I can't stand people that do stuff like that. I mean, oh, my God. <sighs> Seriously? Seriously. I mean, come on, man. Why do people do stuff like that? Why? <laughs> you know, something is wrong with somebody's brain to even do any kind of thing like that to another individual. Individual, It's wrong. It's messed up. You see stuff like that, and they, they start becoming like they're like, they act so childish. They act so childish because things are not going their way. And you're like, you're thinking to yourself, you're like, man, this this person is acting this way. And they're like, they look like they're 30-something years old. Or they look like they're in their 40s or 50 years old or 60 years old or whatever kind of age they are. And, and, and they're acting like this. They're acting like they're like. Like, they're a child. They're being so childish about this. I mean, come on, man. And the fact that people nowadays can sit there and, and get somebody locked up for no reason. And they will succeed on it. It's, it's mind-blowing to me. You know, somebody can walk into a building. Or somebody can walk through a park or yard or whatever. Just to walk from one place to another to get to where they're going, and automatically you got that one person that will use use their power to do everything they can to try to start drama and make it seem like this person that that didn't do nothing to them that are basically harmless, and all they all they want to do is get from one place to another to get where they're going. You got that one person standing out there, sitting there like. Stopping them and say, "You don't belong here. You don't. You don't need to walk here. This is not your property to walk on. This ain't your place to do this. This ain't your place to do that. You're not allowed to do this, and you're not allowed to do that. And they're all up in your business to do everything in their power to start drama and and make it ten times worse because." Even that person can try to avoid that person and try to walk another direction. And that person will be all up on that person's face. Doing everything they can to get that person riled up. But, they, but that person is trying to, you know, keep calm and try to be nice or whatever. And that person will sit there and do everything they can and sit there and address the fact that, oh, well, you're not allowed to do this. You're not allowed to walk here. You're not allowed to do this. You know what? You're doing this and it's illegal. Well, you know what? Why are you doing this? I'm going to call the cops on you and have you locked up. And the fact that people like that apparently have that power to do so, and the fact that they will do something like that, and it does end up happening, and they end up having this person, this person that's innocent, that didn't do nothing wrong, 
only one they do was get from one place to another to get where they're going, and they end up getting locked up because that person basically sat there and run their mouth and lied to the cops, claiming something that they claim that this person did, knowing that they didn't do it, and then they end up getting locked up for something that this person said. That's wrong. And I, I, I know things like that happen. And I know some people, and like a lot of people are saying, oh, white privilege, white privilege don't exist. But the fact of the matter is people need to realize something here. I am myself. I am white, okay? And I'm going to tell you something. When they mean, when they say white privilege, they don't, they don't sit there and make it seem like, oh, white privilege is about, oh, well, you know, this and that. What what they're saying is, in general, is a white person could sit there and whine, be childish, and complain, and sit there and make up all these stories about someone that is not white, that is a person of color, and sit there and make all these ac- accusations against that person, claiming that they did this and did that, and they will actually, once the cop gets involved, they will actually believe that person that is white, that's making these stories up against this person that is not white, that is a person of color, and they could actually succeed. They could actually succeed on getting that person locked up because certain people in general, and some of them are in the cop force, in the police station forces, they actually, when they see a person of color, they, they automatically they automatically in their brain think that they're criminals because of the fact that apparently they're black. Oh, that person's a black person, so he's a criminal. And the fact that people like that think that way, not only people in general, like citizens in general, but people also in the police force have that mindset that thinks this way too. That person, that cop in general, would go to that that place where that event happened between the white person and the black person, and they will sit there, the white person will sit there and make all these lies about this black person, this person of color, and sit there and make it seem like this person of color did so many wrongs, and this white person could actually succeed on getting this person that's a person of color and get them locked up for no reason. It That is what you call, that is what you call white privilege. Okay? That's what you call white privilege. Is that a white person can do anything in the world that could say anything in the world to get someone that is not white, that is a person of color, and they will sit there and spew out things that's not true and claim that this person did this and that person did that, and they can automatically get that person locked up for no reason, all because that person that is white said these things to the cop. That is what white privilege means. That is what that means in my eyes, and that's the way I see what it means. That's what I'm getting at. I could be wrong. I could be wrong, or I could be right. I don't know, but that's what I'm getting. The whole scenario, the whole white privilege. I'm just saying. Now, there are people out there, there are white people out there that actually bust their asses, that actually bust their asses, that will actually build their own, their own business, like build it, build their own building business from hand, from their hands, scratch, and build it and create a business by creating money, by, you know, earning money. By that business that they create and they did it all on their own there are people that are that that independent that are white now I know a lot of people certain people out there will say oh well that's white privilege just stop just stop because not all white people 
in this world are privileges. There's a lot of people, like, yeah, they can be privileged in a way of trying to claim that a black person did this and a black person did that, and then succeed when getting them locked up. Yeah, that part could be basically in a category of white privilege. But when it comes to a white person basically doing something pure independent with nobody, just them and their family in general, building, like literally building their own business, like a building, they're building it from scratch with their own hands, building, building, and turning it into their own business to earn money. There are some white people, maybe half white people out there, that are that independent, that does it themselves without no one's help. And I'm being straight, I'm being up for it, and I'm being honest. That's how it is. Straight up. So, what I'm getting at is, start opening your eyes. Start looking around and see how certain people are when it comes to certain other people as well. And see how they act towards them. And see how they are with one another. And see what they are about when it comes to a certain situation as what I basically said. When it comes to a gas station, when somebody's in a gas station pump, and you have, uh, you know, let's just say a person of color, right, is basically in one of the gas pumps, and all the other gas pumps are basically filled, right, and they're behind this one specific individual, which is a person of color, and they're in a the gas pump, and the, basically that person is white behind them in their vehicle, wait, you would have someone that is so ignorant and rude that is white and they'll sit there and say you need to hurry up I don't got all fucking day you need to hurry up you know it should take you this long la 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 and they will make a scene out of it and they will cause chaos over it and make a huge scene out of it and they'll start sitting there taking their phones out, calling the police, saying, you need to do something about this woman in this vehicle at this gas pump here. She's taking forever. You know, I got places to go. You know, this and that. You need to come here and lock her up and all this shit. There, there are things like that happening in the world. If you open your eyes and see it, you will see it. That things like that actually happen. And I'm not saying this, and I'm not sitting here riding the bandwagon on certain things that's been said on on the internet or whatever. I've seen it, and I've witnessed it, okay? Things like this actually do happen. You know, and I see a lot of people out there, they don't do nothing about it to try to squash the the whole scene that's been blown out because some person... In the vehicle behind them is making a scene out of it because they're sitting there, don't know how to be patient by waiting. They want to sit there and rush to go from one place to another. And they want to sit there and use that scenario, that car that they got, to be able to make a scene out of it because, you know, because of the way their mind is set. They want to sit there and rush somebody, and if things don't go the way they are, they start whining and complaining and, and being all childish about it and all this other stuff. You know, it's it's crazy. It, it happens, and it's messed up, and I think people need to stand up and do something about stuff like this when you see something like that happening. You know, it's messed up. It is. That's where I think in my mind and the way I see it is what white privilege means. And if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. If I'm not, then I'm not. But I'm just pointing out the obvious. It's true. And it happens. And, you know, people want to sit there and say they want to push it under the rug and claim, oh, well, I fight. I I basically work work for what I got, I did this, and I did that, and blah, 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 I didn't need nobody's help, I didn't use this, I didn't use that to get where I'm at, you know, it's not all about that, it's not all about that, 
to stop making it all about that. Okay, to stop. It's about how someone that is white, which is, I am white. Okay, I I have I have I am basically I have Cherokee. I got what I got mixed in me is Cherokee. I got Cherokee. Uh, was it Cherokee, Irish, German? And Italian, and I think that's it, or I, I I might have left something out, but that's what I'm mixed with. But my skin color is white. It's kind of tan or whatever, but I call it white tan or whatever. Whatever you want to call it. A lot of people say, oh, well, you got white skin or whatever, but even though I could be in the sun, I could be in the sun for a couple, like, for, like, if I was out in the sun and had the sun beaming on my skin for, like, three three to four hours probably, or three hours tops. My my skin color would go like real dark, like real darkish color, like a tan, like a real dark color, because you know I got Cherokee in me and I got Irish and German and a little bit Italian in me, or I might have left something out that I have mixed in in me, but that's besides the point. The fact of the matter is, someone with my skin color can sit there and call the cops on somebody that is basically. A person of color, and they'll sit there and call the cops on that person and say some horrible things, claiming that they did this and they did that, and they will, the cop, some cops, not all, some cops that are, has a crooked mind that goes after certain parties, individual, when they go to that scene, they will automatically take a person that is white. They will take their side and will, they will sit there and make a scene and lock the person up that didn't do nothing. That is basically innocent. And they will succeed on getting that person locked up for no reason. That is what white, white privilege means. <sighs> Trying to make it as clear as possible for those that don't get what the whole white privilege thing means and what I'm getting at. <laughs> it's true and it has happened and certain people that do not do not like people of color that look at them a certain way and judge them or whatever, they will sit there and use that opportunity to do everything they can to get a person of color locked up by making a bunch of lies and stories up in order for them to see to be successful on getting that person locked up. That's what I'm getting at. But I think that everyone needs to look at themselves in the mirror. And start realizing what type of person they truly are. And what type of person they want to be. And start getting their mindset right. And getting it straightened out. And start thinking. Start looking at things so differently. And try to do everything you can. To, to, to show that you are all about love and positivity. And, and all you want to do is help people, no matter who they are, or what type of skin color they have, that you are always going to be there for them and show that energy towards them where they can feel like, oh, you know, I feel this, this, this positive energy towards this person. This person has always been so kind and nice to me. And they'll start, you know, slowly coming around and start feeling like they can trust that person. But there's so much work that needs to be done in order for it that to happen is what I'm getting at but yeah that's what I'm getting at so like I said you know things need to change it needs to change for the better and people need to get their mindset straight and uh, start looking at things differently and whatnot and not whatnot but just saying in general that people need to they need to start realizing what's going on in this world and open their eyes and start being the kind of person that that they will be proud of and they can look in the mirror and not be 
where they won't have to look in the mirror and say, oh, I don't like the person I am or whatever, and they get to the point where they feel so proud of the person that they are that they feel so blessed when they look in the mirror at themselves. That's what I'm getting at. And things need to be changed and needs to be for the better. And that's what I mean, that people need to get together and start doing something for change to change this world for the better and stand up for something that they believe in and and do what needs to be right doing with this whole protesting thing or whatever by making this change. Thank you for listening. That's it for, season, for episode two of, podcasts, of my podcast, The Open Book. Bye.